An update here at six. We're back in orange tonight where a woman is fighting to stay in her apartment. Last night on 12 News, we told you about Brandy Richard, who says she's been forced to deal with mold inside her unit at the Sunset Grove Apartments for months now. And just hours after speaking with 12 News, Richard found an eviction notice on her front door. The complex says that she owed them more than $500 in back rent. Richard says she only withheld that money because that was the amount that she paid for extensive cleaning services to help get rid of the mold. 12 News reporter Claydra Rhodes here tonight with this critical follow up. Claydra, what are we learning? Jordan Brenda, Brandy Richard says she paid the remaining balance on her rent in order to stay in her apartment, but she wants the complex to take responsibility for the mold issue by refunding her what she paid to fix it. It was folded and I opened it up and I was like, you got to be kidding me. Hours after talking with 12 News on Wednesday, Brandy Richard came home to an unpleasant surprise on her apartment door. It was the order to vacate, three days to vacate. Since April, Richard has been dealing with ongoing mold issues at Sunset Grove Apartments in Orange. The complex hired an HVAC company to do a duct cleaning after her numerous requests and upon the results from an at-home test kit Richard bought. The offices uh, said that they weren't going to pay to pull the unit, the coils, uh, that they were only going to pay to clean out the uh, vents. Concerned about her health, Richard agreed to pay the company for a thorough evaporator coil cleaning, a more than $500 job. She then took that money out of what she usually pays in rent. The complex's property management didn't have the same understanding of the situation. You have to you have to pay the rent, and then if anything comes of it, we can we can always credit it. Twelve News reached out to Judge Baylor Wortham for insight. Mold is um, a hazard. He says Texas law requires a landlord to fix health and safety hazards as long as the tenant didn't cause the damage and isn't behind on rent. He also stressed that written documentation is a must in these cases. From somebody that verifies there's a problem. Uh, and then we'll also give written notice to the uh, property owner or the landlord of the condition, such as the presence of mold. As for Brandy's case. She may still be able uh, to seek relief with a small claims court. Um, I think if you get in front of one of the justice of the peace and show that it was an essential repair, I don't necessarily think it's, it's foregone. She plans to fight back. I wrote a check for $581 and I'm going to get an attorney and I'll get it back. Richard tells me she hasn't heard from the property managers after she paid the remaining balance, but hopes to get some answers soon. In studio, Claytra Rhodes, 12 News. All right, keep us updated, Claytra. Thank you.